I actually meant to buy the, the defense upgrade. And then the health upgrade. That's what I actually meant to buy. But I didn't. We have 13 coins left, so let's go ahead and get back into this. Uh, as long as this run lasts another 30... If it lasts more than 20 minutes, then it's going to be the final run. Okay, so... Best not to stand there for that. So, one of the things I'm still getting used to with this guy is his slash. So, as you saw, his slash can be broken by objects. And it also does take energy. You kind of slump him at that with the, uh, the flamethrower there. The electric flamethrower, though. You almost want them to get their other shot off. Okay, I did that to myself. You got me, game. Of all the doors I would try to go to, it would be the door that already went. Game in. It also has this really neat pistol. Rocket launcher. Yeah. Tesla coil. The the Tesla coil is what we prefer to use right now. At least, you know. If we're comparing the other two. This room has two chests in it. Ain't no more immortals getting out of here alive. Helsing pistol. Yep. So we're gonna use the the Helsing pistol. Or whatever. The the Tesla coil and the electric flamethrower. Combination of shit I can get behind. For reasons like this. Wasteful with it and still got hurt. But, um. Uh, still like full health, so. Does it really matter? I have a hard time remembering to go around these corners, man. Um, it is not how I saw that going. Does this thing just always crit? I'm gonna say I hear one of these douchebags. Usually how it is, there's usually uh, four of those Rambos. Uh, if you caught the first stream, we called them Rambos. 
And, uh, four of them in each corner. Another one of those douchebags somewhere. The AK-47, the classic uh, freedom gun. Honestly. I'm not even going to question the logic behind that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go up. You know, instead of having a straight grinding run, let's try to get as far as we can. Uh, the stream... Uh... Dream seems to be a little all over the place. We'll be fine. So let's use the Tesla coil a little bit more. Oh god. Assault rifle! Sure. Might as well. So just like the last floor, fuck it, we'll use it. We'll come back though. I really thought that he wouldn't have fired so soon. Took a lot of bullets. We kind of just want to use them up and then go back for the the gun we were we really want. Uh, ouch. It's not like super overly powerful or anything. Probably got another room. Another room's use out of this, unless we get an ammo drop. I think each gun has its ammo supply uh, for itself. I don't think you just have. That's a chest. I wonder if there's any trap rooms, like where I see a chest that I'm like, oh. You now find items and vessels. Okay. Yeah, this is where we start getting the meat and the and the vessels and the ammo. I mean, I like it. That actually means that we can use some of the more powerful guns instead. But I am actually going to go back and get that gun right now. Because coil. You know what? No. No, since since we can get ammo drops. Okay. Final decision here. Since we can get ammo drops out of vessels. Like probably fairly reliably even. And we will, uh... We'll use the stronger weapons that we have. One, just for shit like this.
three shots for that does not feel good. I'm not saying it shouldn't be three shots, I'm just saying that it seems like a lot. And that I should not be using it for the likes of him. Obviously not going to use a flare gun. Procrastinator, you cannot reload on demands. So I think now I have to completely run out of ammo before I can reload. I think that's what that means. That kind of sucks, but I mean... Also, probably worse. Sorry, headsets hurt my ears. By existing. Okay, if there was one bat dude, safe to assume. There's at least one more. I want to die first. I can't believe I actually let that one hit me. They all just die immediately to the electric flamethrower. Pretty okay. Ooh, those actually kind of kill me a good amount. Uh, we're looking for ammo, looking for health. I'll only go through like the super big piles. And a reminder, we can't reload anymore on command. But that doesn't mean that we can't get ammo for when we do need to reload. Thanks for... Thanks for reloading then. Appreciate the damage. Alright, ladies, show's over. Not about to take more damage than I need to. Trying to get some items. It just says reach the chest. It, it doesn't even say where the chest is. first and then drive forward a little bit. My main problem is I'm gonna get hit by that thing. Uh, we'll, we'll go back in there at some point. I'm not sure any one chest is necessarily worth the kind of bullshit that that room can potentially put me in. Yeah, 
them and their damn stripper poles. That's the kind of guy that shoots with uh, three arrows. Either vertically or horizontally. Didn't really want him shooting at me. The big problem with this room... is there's like two, we're gonna call them shamans, the, the two dudes summon all that bullshit. And then there's the uh, two archers. There's a lot of stuff to deal with. You know what? Okay, on the off chance that we die, we will go back and just do that room. Mainly to experience it. Because, I mean, we're at 58 health. We haven't seen any health stakes for a while. That doesn't count. Lots of ammo, though. Yeah, let's go back. Through that door right over here. Oh, okay, so if you left, it was bad. Right. Well, I had no clue. Um, I had, had actually no idea where I was supposed to go in that room, other than down. Oh hey. What's up? Sorry, I haven't looked at chat in a while. There hasn't been anything going on. Ah. Uh. Oh, just keep going. Uh, fuck that guy. That happened. We still ended up with more health than we started with, so... I mean... What you call good damage. I guess. Alright, let's just get out of here. I'm here by my lonesome other than you, so. Hope you feel good about it. I can now stop talking exclusively to myself. That was a bad jump. Great recovery. I mean, I'd prefer not to talk to you. I'm kidding. Just mega fuck this room. Every time. Like, huge dildo in the... in the rump. That is what that room is. Read that situation wrong. Like that one time at the bar. With that one guy. 
him. Oh, thanks for falling in the lava where I can't make any, like, actual use of you. I'll give you an opinion on asking me to give you an opinion on things while actually trying to not lose. Hold on. Hold on. Got a... Can't see the full question because of how I have this set up. Depending on the game, I haven't heard much good from it. Too repetitive. Event. You know what? Okay, so I haven't actually seen much bad on it. So pretty much anything I would give you is bias. I mean, it's just as repetitive as any game like Isaac or whatever. Rogue Legacy is the best thing to compare it to because the game expects you to kind of grind and the money you get from the dungeon, like in the top left, you spend back into the game to increase, uh, to passively increase things like health, damage, the amount of ammo you get. Not only do you get better incrementally with skill, the game kind of forces you, well, I guess you don't have to spend any money at all. But, it forces your character to actually actively get better just by playing the game. I'd say in that respect, that's where some of the, the repetitiveness, repetitive nature of the game might come through is... Like, if you're generally bad at the game, like I was at Rogue Legacy, I really relied on the passive stat increases. Because it made you objectively better. Even if only slightly. Like, that's the thing. At the end of the day, you're still only as good as you are. And if you can't hit anything for the life of you, or... You know, whatever. Increase your attack, but you can only carry a weapon. Well, that fucking sucks. Alright, well... Ripped this run. Yeah, a lot of people are actually comparing it to Ziggurat too in terms of its... I wouldn't consider it like... Whoops. Uh, super... Not like high octane, but... That could be really good. Except that I can only carry 50. I love the smell of meat burning in the morning. Honestly, if we have increased attack, we should probably just go with this. But yeah, I mean, I don't really have much bad to say about it. It could very well get repetitive. But... Oops. I just haven't run into it. And I played so little Ziggurat. Definitely didn't do that game any justice. Oh, that's so much health. Try not to run into this big pile of weapons down here. You know, this does make me want to play CSGO. Again. Like, I know I'm not I'm not comparing it to skill, it's just the mindless gunplay. Fun. Oh, fuck you. No, fuck everything. Especially fuck the mortar dudes. Okay, felt that one coming. Not the first time I've said that today. Under different contexts, of course. Okay. Which one of you motherfuckers? Shooting me. That face when only one motherfucker is shooting you. Oop. Right in the face. You 
you played a bit of this game? Or one of the other mentioned games. Or all of them, I guess. I forget that I have a chat, so I forget to actually... What is up with everything not working? A little tip. Uh, don't jizz on the equipment. And it won't get ruined. I still really like the, the room designs in this game, though. The verticality of it. Pretty cool. Fuck my loadout, though. I made this room a lot harder than it had to be. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, Ziggurat definitely seemed really repetitive. And if I had to choose the enemy design between this or Ziggurat, I would definitely choose this. Um, the whole reason I don't want to go back to Ziggurat is actually partly due to the enemy design. Once I got to the second area... <laughs> I mean, mice, mice die. Like, I've never given mine a clinging. You know, your hands just... Jokes aside. Get dirt on them. Shit. But, uh... Well, hopefully not shit. Like, if you have shit on your hands, you might want to... Wash up. But, yeah, I I don't think I could ever get into Ziggurat as much as I got into this game. Something about the enemy design just sucked, in my opinion. Perhaps just the enemies weren't as memorable or weren't as clear as to what they were going to do. That could be something to say, though, with enemy design, or variants. Like, if you have more varied enemies, you're less likely to remember what they're going to do. But I wouldn't consider that the case, personally. Because... I mean, I'd, I'd say there's a fair amount of variety in the enemies. And they're all pretty memorable. Like, I know the ram dudes are gonna ram me, I know that there's the yellow and the blue plug looking dudes that do their own thing. I hate the teleporting red devil dudes. Fuck those guys. Honestly, I don't know, um, I don't know what you're looking for. Like, $50 budget. I don't know, man. I'd say I would go for... On a $50 budget... Yeah, dude. Ziggurat. Carrot. Exactly. Like, the carrot dudes that pop up and just be assholes and try to hug you to death. Try to put their little carrot butts inside you. What is this? Did I stumble onto a boss? Am I on the third floor? Oh! I've never been to a boss before. I'm gonna show you boss now. I don't know if I like anything going on here. Okay, so when he does that, he's... Essentially invincible. For the time being. I would love to re-chat if I wasn't... Trying to figure out how to... How to not die to the boss immediately. Did I do it? 
Did I do it? Don't give me some like phase one bullshit because I don't have the health for this. Cool, I got a blueprint. I think that's money. I asked that before, what the plum bob was. But I think the plum bob is money. Awesome. Look, dude, I didn't have time to look at the health bar. All I saw was sarcophagi glowing in fireballs. And then I just shot the asshole. So, um, I'd say good boss design, honestly. So the fact that I was able to figure that out on basically accident. But what I was going to ask was, so where are the ads and how do I get more ammo? Because I didn't see that fight going on very much longer. After receiving damage, you become invincible momentarily. That's pretty sweet. Pistol. Dude, fuck the pistol. I already had the pistol. You won't, mate. Dude, I'm loving this game. I'm still a little bit weirded out that the developers wouldn't give it to me for free. Again, not because it was me and that I wanted it for free, it's just... So few people are playing this. I don't see how the developer made any money off of it, because... Either there was no marketing or it just came out at the worst time. Nobody was talking about it. Back in April. And the most people I've seen on Twitch playing it are like 17 viewers, so... Eh. I'm pretty sure that topped me up on ammo, so I don't need to be doing that. So I've never been this far in the game. That's exciting. I would run right into that, like four times. Okay, please me, get the memo, stop it. There's a memo out that says please stop running into shit. And I know I'm like definitely yelling compared to normal. I have the music up louder and shit than I normally would. and. Nobody's home right now, so... Yell all I want, BB. Turn the porn all the way up, no headphones. It was a joke. Yeah, I should probably put this up on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I like handouts. But like... I don't know, so if I were to a developer and like nobody was playing my game, I would take my chance giving it to somebody who may or may not even buy it or have ever heard of it to begin with, in the off chance that that one person can give me two or three sales. Because those two or three sales paid for the one copy you gave out. Now the, the risk in that is when you start multiplying that, that risk. but. I mean, we're not here to talk business. Please don't touch me. I'm fraggle. Dude, the attack buff with this gun is pretty schmexy. Although I'm going to need a lot more ammo drops to supplement my, uh, my bullshit. Yeah, you're right though, I uh, gotta get content on YouTube. Either you're making fun of the fact that I haven't uploaded, which you're not wrong, or that just goes back to the- holy shit, okay. Hold on, hold that thought. I like to call these guys Rambos.
But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I actually kind of hate YouTube these days. For a procrastinator like myself, it's so much easier to start up a stream that I know nobody's gonna watch. Occasionally get one of my friends, like you, to watch the stream to actually give me something worth talking about. And then just upload it all to YouTube. Like, it's not like my overlay is crazy. Although, if you wanted to completely obstruct my stream, you could probably follow and unfollow like a million times. Just saying. Uh, it puts it right, right, right here in the middle. Oh shit. That was a good jump. Gonna maybe save that. So, uh, reminder before anyone asks why I'm using the same gun over and over, and I never switch it. Yeah, YouTube's business practices are just kind of bullshit these days. Uh, I'm using the same gun because I have a scroll. Which uh, increases my attack, but I can only carry one weapon. So I went with a weapon with a high ammo capacity. Because I also have lucky vessels, which in these vases and vessels and stuff and contain drops like health or ammo and coins and more coins bye random lurker that was here for like two seconds I miss you already hashtag go fuck yourself I'm kidding Oh god, okay. This is like Custard's last stand up in this shit. I thought the frog was dead. I also didn't realize they could jump that gap. That's what she said. I'm aware that makes no sense and I love it. Uh oh. Okay. Holy shit, five viewers. Where'd y'all come from? Welcome to the stream. Redneck and chill. Where we talk about probably offensive things. But we have fun doing it. Okay, so, because I don't have a mechanical keyboard, just in case no one caught this last stream, uh, some of these jumps are completely bullshit for me. Because I can't actually, you know, aim all the stuff. Hi. Hi. Hi, whatever your name is. Dude, I don't know. The depths of hell. Monster armor, kill all the enemies on the floor and receive a gold bonus. Tranquilizer gun. Assault rifle. Okay, hold on. I need that. Tranquilizer to... gun. That tranquilizer Assault gun rifle. is probably similar to the kunai in that it's a one or two hit kill. Likely a one hit. I'm not taking that chance. I think he left because I didn't say hi, or because I was immediately offensive. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Anyways, uh, welcome everybody. I just have some crappy Logitech keyboard um, that was intended for an office and not like a lot of buttons being pressed in the same direction at once. So I guess uh, I'm forced to never go to bed and so now to full clear this, peace out every viewer that just left. Uh, because I want that gold bonus, honestly. It's, uh, it's the bottom line here. Like, I originally really hated my build here. 
but now I really like it. Whoa. Yep, back to two. Hide the view count from who? You or me? Or like, people or myself? For me it's fun just to glance over and find people coming and going. Because I don't stream at the attempt anyone actually showing up. And then it's fun to make fun of them for being here and chase them away. Kind of sadistic and uh, a little bit masochistic maybe, but uh, yeah. Okay, that was... Alright, this fuck. I love fighting these guys. Oh god. Okay, that really was best case scenario. As would be that guy dying. And the other guy teleported into one of these rooms and I... Oh, ouch. Rude. Can I not run into every form of damage possible? Health? Ammo? No? Hey, maybe he'll uh, he'll not teleport away this time. Cool. This music is starting to sound extremely copyrighted, but not all good music is copyrighted. We'll find out. Yeah. There's not much going on with me. I don't think the viewer count really adds or subtracts from that. You should see my second screen. Boy, is it a mess. Oh god. Yeah, okay. Stop. Let's just run into every single form of damage in that room. Go back, run across the pots, check the map. Oh, I could just run down the middle. Boy, that room doesn't look fun, doesn't look friendly. Doesn't look advertiser friendly. This one should be pretty easy, it's just going to be some skull dudes and a bunch of frogs on the ground. I wouldn't say this is a winning run, considering... I still don't know Jack against the game, about the game. And, uh... I can't not take damage for more than five seconds. And I've still got a loadout. It does not like me reloading. Pretty sure I have that, right? Yeah, I cannot reload on demand. I hear they eat frogs legs in Europe. No way! And then not getting this ammo doesn't help like at all. We can definitely go to the next floor. But, no, no, we're definitely on the path to full clear, so we're going to stay and do it. I thought maybe if we had missed a room somewhere, I could justify, oh god, oh god, oh god, get me out of here. I'm just going to have to accept that... I'm not getting all the goodies this this shit has to offer. Time for me to stop being a puss and to go upwards though. Huh. 
Only problem is I cannot stand still. That's fine. I'd rather go down than to need to go a different direction, I guess. That reloading crap though. Please tell me there was only one mortar, dude, because... Come on. I guess that could make life really difficult. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, missing... Get. Get. Get the bed. Get the... Get the dog sack. I need the... Before it disappears. Hey, I got an additional jump, guys. Woo! I'm gonna abuse that so much, and like... Next run, immediately forget that I don't have it. We are back up to full health, though. But in that last room... That was the gold bonus we got. So, cool. Alright. Smashing escape, trying to, uh... So close to the exit, too. Just double check. Yep, full clear. I don't know. They are going pretty smooth. I, uh, I'm just worried because there was one room where I definitely missed a lot of ammo. And if I can't consistently stay topped off, this one weapon thing is going to really fuck me up. But I mean, the pressure's on. Yeah, that's that's super bad. All right, all right, all right. Everybody, calm down. It's officially turned into a bullet hell. All right, well, here goes all that health. I want to say there's six floors. Uh, we fought the first boss on the third floor, and I think that's considered halfway. So, with that logic, I want to say six. But I mean, that's speaking with pure ignorance, so... Hey, cool, a good room. Rooms where I don't have to do anything but collect good things. Come on, be a good scroll. I don't want the dynamite. The less health I have, you faster you move. That's... I'll take the full heal. But that scroll was not a good scroll. Because, you know, ideally the faster I move, the more I get hit. With the lower health. Alright. Moving time. Alright, start by killing the things that shoot. Okay. Crowbar! Oh. We're going full commando here. Yeah. I mean, SWAT team. I'll take it. All those health drops? Amazing. <laughs> nice typos, you fuck. Alright. I don't know why I'm looking for health. That whole room just gave us extra health. You lose 50% of your health in exchange for two scrolls. Right after picking up all that health, of course. Do I run instead of walking? That's really bad. And explosions deal even more damage. Well, I don't have explosions. I mean, is that bad though? I've gotten used to how fast paced the game is. 
Did I actually say that that's not terrible? But it will make platforming a complete pain in the butt. Oh. Okay, so... I'm just gonna ask you... Should we go up to the next floor, like, immediately? Because we found a chest room. Uh, which was lucky. Right off a of spawn, pretty much. So scrolls can be, like, good, bad, or neutral. More or less. Think of them like picking up any item in the Binding of Isaac, except these are all um, just different traits to add to your character. So there's like a scroll that will do damage to things in the room anytime you get hit. Um, there's the double jump one you saw. There's just a wide variety of them. And they can be good, bad, or neutral. Like we have this one, Lucky Vessel. You can now find items in vessels. You cannot reload on demand. Increase your attack, but you can only carry one weapon. After receiving damage, you become invincible. Kill all the enemies on the floor to gain a gold bonus. Like that, you don't even have to do. You could just left. Yeah, see, like, I don't know if going to the Apex is literally just one big boss fight. I don't know if it's like going through the, the boss door. Uh, the door to Mega Satan or anything. It could be, honestly, that the next room I try to top off my health with could just flat out kill me. But I'm up for it. I think if I lost, I wouldn't be too upset. <laughs> and the next room was a three chest room Delphonic Anarchy with the sick call. Alright. You, sir, are a hero. Unless, of course, one of these scrolls suck, in which case you were to blame for everything that ever happened in this entire run. Payday, increase the gold picked up. Probably not gonna matter. And extra health and ammo. Delphonic Anarchy, saving the run. That was amazing, dude. Your luck. There's really only one way in this room. Because now I don't know how to get out. By the way, completely forgot. But I don't have the double jump, so. Yeah, alright, so we're definitely going to the next floor. I'll give it another 30 seconds before you see it, but. Alright, anyways. Stream looks like it's caught up on my end. If you could tell the future, you wouldn't have jizzed in your own mouse. I mean, that's not what happened, but. I hope it's not what happened. Like, come on, man. You aim around it, not on it. So Spikey called this game very quake-like, very uh, very speedy, very fast. I would agree with that. All right, we're hoping to get lucky on these room draws here. Uh, we're going to avoid any room that looks like it has a lot of goop in it. I need to fire as much as I can, since I can't, like, reload. That room is crazy. So that room can suck if only if you only have a shotgun or a pistol. Because it's literally just this vertical hallway and the Rambos spawn. Nice head, dude. I too was a unicorn in a past life. Just yesterday. The Rams. Yeah. That room. Could be just as bullshit as this one. Did I shoot through the floor? That would just happen. Dude. This run is so sick, though. I 
Uh, vertical room, I have a double jump. Let him go again. Fell off like an idiot, so I'm okay with that. Now all we have to do is clear out these pools. Oh god. So, the thing most likely to kill this run is just me not being able to reload whenever I need to. Thanks to the procrastination or whatever it is trait. Skill pickup. I don't even know what they're called. It's a good... Dude, I better got this. Oh my god. Frames games with the chests again. I am the best. I'm gonna get like a game ending scroll. Okay, so after you complete the run, holy shit refill, let the next room seriously be the boss. Okay, so after you complete the run, after you die, you take the money out of the game and in game, you can get blueprints, which are for these medallions. These medallions you take into the run, and they give you. Um, you spend the money on them, and then they give you, like, a bonus of some sort. This one, once you purchase them, they stay. You just equip them. Uh, like I said, kind of like Rogue Legacy. But then you also spend stuff on a skill tree that is used on every run ever. So I would use like 500 gold to increase my HP by some percent or some flat number. And then that constantly goes up. So the more you play the game, the more money you get, the more you dump it into stats, and the more your character gets objectively better. And then the further you can actually get because your health pool is larger or you do more crit damage or you have more of a chance to do a crit. Something like that. Something along them lines. Oh, I came in this room anyways. Fuck me. Oh god. So, you know how I mentioned before that platforming would really kind of suck? If Okay. That damage was unavoidable. Because I had to wait for the stupid platform. That one I could very easily avoid. No drops, sadly. But yeah, so you have to get rid of all of your money when entering the pyramid. All of it. Every last bit of it. So if you don't spend it, you're only making the game harder for yourself. That's really where the grind for this game comes in. Is uh, in trying to passively make your character just better. And we got low gravity. Are you kidding me? Okay. We have low gravity and a double jump. What is this? Risk of- oh, ouch. Risk of getting shot in the face? Uh, I'm gonna say risk of rain. Weapon damage increases when health is low. Honestly, it's just making the boss fight, like, even better. It's really kidding me out for it. Are you kidding me? Ha 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 ha! Ah, I made a joke. Did we ever play Risk of Rain together? I don't remember. I know I got my one friend into it. And three of us ended up playing it, but I don't remember if you and I ever really, like... Yeah, dude. 
I would love more goat hoofs. I low key got me like a rusty jetpack and some freaking popo feathers. Oh. Only 90s kids will understand. So, how about getting shot in the face, like at the very end of the run? So, I haven't really specced into straight up defense in the game. Okay, I need to stick to the ground because running is just a pain with this. Oh my god. Looks like a challenge room. Do it. This should be actually kind of stupid. Yep, that was like really easy. Oh, okay. All right, ladies. Gotcha. Show's over. Unk. Improves your attack. Nah, I gotta stick with the rifle. Even though the Ankh is unlimited ammo, it does have a slow moving projectile. Yeah, this room was a joke. So those are jump pads, they will force you in the direction, and because I have the double jump, I can freely move into midair with the, the low gravity. That was... This run was built for success. If I throw it out, I will be some kind of disappointed. I do need to try to grind up for some more health though on these vessels. I don't think having full ammo or anything else will increase the odds. It's all kind of luck based here. Damn it, we ended up at the wrong door again. I almost said I am streaming, right? Alright, so we need to be careful here. Not from like, just not dying, but the fact this is the first room that we've had both the speed and the gravity thing going on. And the last thing I need is some epic throw of the run. Okay, so it does look like it's the case where we just go up. So this next this next room might be the boss. We are capped out. Uh, let's just go through see if we can't find any more vessels that might want to give us a little bit more ammo. Uh, that would be cool. Dude, the vessels are really good. My first run definitely did not have these drops. But I did spec up into the meat thing is healing me more. Which... So the way I think it works, and I never looked it up, is let's say the meat things, like the meat steaks, the big ones, that like the enemies drop and shit. Let's say those heal you 10. I think these little meat haunches, those heal you like a flat percent of whatever a total the big ones will heal you for. So as I increase that number, I'm getting more healing out of the vessel stuff, and it's amazing. But uh, yeah, after this run, that's definitely gonna be it. Seventh floor. Definitely seems very apexy. Uh, it gives you two chests at the end, just for getting here. Kind of looks like the top of a pyramid. And this looks like it's gonna. Okay, so if you get here, 
It just completely fills you up. A little known secret about me is when I get when I get under a lot of pressure, like for games and shit, I actually get like my skin tingles, like really itchy. Back in the day when we'd uh as a as a household play Space Cadet Pinball back on the old XP computer. Uh, as soon as I sat down, I get itchy. Just it would happen. Now I'm getting itchy. This looks fucking insane. Uh, is this gonna be the typical take out the hands because the eyeballs and then shoot the, the head kind of thing? You sure been hit with an ugly stick, partner. Did you get the license on the truck that hit you? Huh. Okay. So the low gravity thing turns out not doing me any favors. Ouch. This is actually really bad for me. Ouch. Oh boy. Yeah, so we're dead. But that was so cool. I jumped way too soon on that. You know what? I was like one hit from death, so I thought... I would just go for it, see if I could get under him. I'm not even sad about that death. That that was all I had in me. 354 minions. Like I said before, if you play a character, it seems to give another character, and this is biased because I don't have more than one character, uh, it'll give another character a stat bonus, like plus attack. And then the next time I play Seth, if I don't choose the redneck, It'll give the redneck defense. Dude, I got bitch slapped to hell. That was amazing. So we'll just choose redneck. But I'll show you what I'm talking about with the money. Yeah, you start here. Uh, there's three total pyramids. Once you beat one, you unlock the second one. It's even harder. As far as I assume. Uh, this tree right here is literally my skill tree, because they're funny. So down here at the bottom, you have things like attack upgrade, better ammo, and Apis, which is a new character. That looks like a bull kind of character. And then, you have things like defense upgrades, health upgrades, crit percent, and crit damage. Just things like that. Stake upgrades, increase the amount of health per stake. And, uh, like I said on that, I think stakes, like, 24 health recovered. The the little beat things, I think, were giving me 4 health or something like that. So, you know, you can do the math on that. But, yeah. This is where all the money goes, which I'm just going to spend it now. The redneck has a higher defense. It even tells you what your current defense is. I don't know, I would rather right now, personally, because I don't really want to play all the characters. Uh, I would kind of just spec up into things like your overall health. Like your max health, this says current 192 instead of 157 because the redneck has higher health. But uh, I'd rather spec into things. We can get this, extra jump, cool. Should I get the random weapon? 
every time I enter the pyramid. Mind you, the only reason the assault rifle was so good was because I had the vessel to get all of the ammo stuff. But I mean, there's tons of good weapons. Got like speed upgrade, increased base speed. Then you buy some of these, you get even more trees stuff. There might even be something up here. Probably not, though. Hmm, good song. I'm not going for the gun, by the way. So, uh, fuck yourself. I'm not waiting. Um. Way I'm spending my money, man! Shit better be worth it. Yeah, it better be worth it. I feel like things on the tree are actually... Hear what? And fucking, I got Apis, alright? And they actually have upgrades for each character. Well, by that logic, anything random seems questionable. Like, isn't that the point of random? Yeah, Apis. God of Strength. Uh, has four weapons. I can only ever get one jump. Hold on. Considering I bought an extra jump, does that mean... Packing, loaded, and built like a darn bull! Y you gotta love this Apis fella! Apis. Okay, Apis. Look, I don't know my Egyptians, alright? God damn it. So, he gets this, uh, this revolver. Notice. It, uh, it sucks ranged. I'm just trying to hit the head here. It's terrible. Alright, whatever this is. Grenade launcher of sorts. Here that goes. Oh, it bounces. Alright, cool. Checking out his uh, his loadout, his kit. That weapon just really bounces all over the place. Let's hope I never need to be accurate with it. Uh, minigun. Go over here. It actually slows you down because there's some knockback on that. It's not going to be like tower guns though. I doubt it. It'd be cool if you could fly. I wonder what would happen in low gravity. And you get an Uzi. I mean crits happen, there are no headshots, there are no fall damage, those are just objective facts about this game. Why does this need chain down? I can understand this, but why does the ground, like the platform, whatever. I want to know. Yeah, but that's straight up going to do it for the stream. Uh, this got 256 health. Holy dicks. A lot of health. That uh, was a good stream. It helped me kind of pretend my problems don't exist for a little bit. Okay, yeah, I failed to notice that about the minigun, actually. Uh, good call on that. But yeah, the weapons that have no ammo have huge advantage, like pros and cons. I actually like using the Ankh, it's just the, the travel time on the projectile means that you've really got to lead some of your shots. And then you got the, the power gloves or whatever they're called. They seem to take two times as many shots as the Redneck's pistol. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. So like the guys that die in one pistol shot die in two shots. And I don't know. I guess the, the pro of that is just that it has infinite ammo. Who knows though? That final boss, that was that was insane. Really enjoyed it. Love getting uh, extra viewers there at the end.
I don't know who uh, Fagwent is, but hey, welcome to the chat. I see you in there somewhere. At least my chat list says that you're in there somewhere. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll eventually try to uh, post this on YouTube in case anyone missed it and actually start telling people what I'm going to stream. Like anything else, they're random. Yeah. Problem is, most projectiles, excluding the rocket launcher, as far as explosions go, they either bounce or... I'd have to get bitch slapped again going underneath the boss with a handful of dynamite. And if he's a bot, that's cool. He can go fuck himself either way. Real or not, he ain't engaging in the chat. You don't exist. Um, that's how you lose. They lose people right there. But yeah, I don't know. I think running up underneath him with a stick of dynamite would be stupid because he seems to be low enough where that might hit you, but it's worth a shot. But with the scroll that I had that allowed me to only have one weapon, there was no option of trying that. It's just a matter of, I don't know the boss fight. I don't even know how I was supposed to, you know what, if I was in the corners of the map, I could have jumped on the, the platforms that would have gotten me over the shockwave. But it's going to be a learning experience getting all the way up to floor 7. But yeah, I'm done. Everyone have a great night. Get hit for like a lot of damage and then try to explode the dude's butt bubbles. I don't know about that strategy, man. I don't know about that. But yeah, Delphonic Anarchy. Stop talking so I can leave. You guys have a great night. Stay positive and shit. I don't know. We. I don't know how to end streams. Uh, hold on. I should do this. Stream ending. Yeah. It's out.